Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today I'm doing a reading for BTS, Jungkook and Jin. Alright, so Jungkook will be on this side and Jin will be on this side. I hope I'm saying the name right. I didn't do a pronunciation for Jin. Okay, let's see. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And begin now. Take your first step to healing by the sounds of it. And we have Journey by Moon Knight. Believe in magic and wise leader. You are a beacon for others. And that is for Jean Cook. Let's start. What's the one between? Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine path. Hmm. So it could be a divine path to get these two together, or it could be a divine path that they each have on their own. So let's see. Jean Cook, please. Cards for Jean Cook, please. Okay, we got lots there. Let's see. Okay, that's too many, but I will take the top one. See here. Okay. Oh. All right. Let's do that. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the King of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. Oops. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Devil, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Crossroads. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Wands, a little bit defensive or standing up for what they believe in. So now we will do uh, Jin. Cards for Jin. Okay, that's a lot of cards, so let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay. I kind of feel like these are meant to go up here. Magician, the Devil, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, the Nine of Wands, the Judgment, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. And then we have the Four Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So let's see here. We'll stick those. Hmm. I'm going to stick those here. Okay, and bottom of the deck is the Moon Secrets. <laughs> Well, it could mean other things too. It could mean fear. It could mean a distorted vision. Um, it could mean deception, I guess. It could mean mood swings, deep emotional conflict. Let's see here. Ooh, and we have the hermit too, and I'm not even sure where that's supposed to go. But that is healing. And I'm going to go and put that here. I wonder if I can get another row in here. Mm, can't really see it coming. Okay. I guess I shouldn't have taken all those cards. And it kind of makes me feel I'll leave that for the bottom of the deck. I'm going to need three more cards. Oops. Three more cards, please. Thank you. Is that three? Hey, look at that. 
That was alright. Okay, let's get these up here. And Hermit. Can you see all that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And I'll put that back there. So we have some shady ass behavior um, with the King of Wands who walked away, which this side here is Jean Cook, okay? Um, wanted to give an offer to a Capricorn perhaps who has a lot of options or it could be, I got two different situations here. It could be an offer that might be toxic and might confuse somebody. But in any case, whether it's a Capricorn who has options or it's toxic causing confusion, it's coming in quickly to this King of Pentacles. And just remember, this could be same sex. It could be they're both showing up in their masculine side. They could both be female. One could be a female, one could be a male, okay? Just because there is no gender in tarot, um, he could be a she, she can be a he, so, okay? So, but there is a crossroads here. Somebody sees through something here with the high priestess and puts an ending to it and has to heal. And now they're standing up for themselves. So uh, when it comes to Jin, we have manifesting a Capricorn, possibly, hanging on to uh, someone or saving. When it, I feel like it's because love comes up next, I'm gonna say they're hanging on to somebody because they want to give a cup of love or want to receive a cup of love uh, from the Emperor. Now, this could be someone else, may not be um, Jean Cook. It could be someone else that she has in mind. And she's worked really hard um, at the Nine of Wands here worked through something regardless of how um, repetitious it is or um, having to repeat the same thing over and over and over. She has done the healing here and made a judgment call when it comes to equal give and take or um, giving and receiving. She's willing to take a cup of love but it's got to be the right cup of love or she's going to reject it and be bored. She wants somebody that can work with her and work well with her. Being somebody that is um, cooperative and isn't going to have conflict. conflict. It's going to be a cooperation, a team player, a team teamwork somebody that isn't going to work against her, but work with her. All right, and then we have the moon. The moon can be just a private struggle that maybe they're going, that's going on. It could be a little bit of fear. <clears throat> it could be uncontrollable imagination, overthinking, but I don't see a lot of swords here. So I'm gonna say it's more, I'm going to say, um, maybe a deep emotional conflict, but I still don't see swords here. So it might be a hidden truth or a distorted vision or fear when it comes to finding love. Maybe something was toxic in her past. But let's clarify. We got burden and uh, betrayal there. So there's some shady ass behavior on this side as well. And they're walking away from somebody. So it could be that they both have experienced that kind of thing before. And I kind of feel like with the uh, high priestess here, I kind of feel like... Um, Jean Cook is using his intuition. 
What is the, oh, what was that? Ah. I'm gonna take that, oh, and I got that one too. So there was some shady ass behavior, maybe abandonment issues, and somebody walks away from this toxic behavior. What is this, um, whoa, King of Wands, hmm. Spiritual, spirituality um, could be, could be um, religion, could be like-minded people, maybe they just weren't um, meshing well. Oh yeah, secrets, so somebody did walk away from maybe a commitment walked away twice here from shady ass behavior and then walked away from a marriage or maybe a promise or it's a broken promise but the higher friend it could be shared belief system maybe just not getting along with somebody maybe not following the rules That's too many spirit. What's the page of cups? Yeah, working, wanting this offer or news of love to work out. Hanging on to this Capricorn or this situation. Yeah, justice because of any confusion maybe or lots of options what's the eight of oh the tower i'm only taking the tower because that was way too many what is the king of pentacles somebody might be receiving their karma with that tower right after the justice there yeah when it comes to love things are changing and a crossroads wow and heartache so it could be this person isn't oh there's another one there this person isn't going to take it oh there's no there's no truth here there needed to be some truth here and that's why they're at heartache and a crossroads so Jimin has probably had a lot of things going on he's showing back up again happy because he used his intuition and probably could see something going on here when it came to someone else and their love offer. What's the death? Yeah, can't change the past and healing from it. So I'm going to say when it comes to an offer here with Jin, that it's possible the truth wasn't said and because of that there could have been somebody that was worried about heartbreak here there was some justice though a tower came and somebody broke up here so let's see on her side and see if this has to do with her and there's a third party here, so, oh, we don't have one for the hermit. What's the hermit, please, spirit? What's the hermit? Yeah, strength, keeping cool in stressful situations and going within and doing the work. Mmm, betrayal. Okay, so we have ten of swords on the bottom. So there might be somebody's karma because of betrayals in the past past where they are unable to go back and change the path and something ends now that could be with Jin there's the wheel of fortune could be in her favor what's the magician is that a trick hmm no, oh, I think she's planted some seeds long ago that are starting to come to fruition. May have manifested something a while back. 
Yeah, maybe a leap of faith with the Capricorn here. And maybe Joan Cook is a Capricorn. What's the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, hanging on to the idea of marriage, maybe. Or spirituality, but with the love card here, I'm going to say it's going to be marriage. What's, yeah, there might have been some shady ass behavior behind some offer here. Um, maybe some gossip or stabbing somebody in the back. And with the Emperor, they had to have courage to get through this. And she could be showing up as the Emperor. And if she's not a she, uh, whoever Jin is, um, he's showing up as the Emperor. And whether it's a she or a he, they're showing up in their masculine side. What's the Nine of Wands, please, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, somebody is looking for that truth and uh, is very intuitive as well. So there might be a reason that this doesn't work out because the Hermit here is healing. And with the Moon here, I kind of feel like something was still hidden. And whether that was with him, and that's why he received some uh, karma with the tower when it came to love, and because there was no truth, there was heartache. And him wanting to be happy, but he's having sleepless nights because something ended. But he does do the work, he does do the healing, he has the courage to do the healing over a betrayal. Now, whether that is her betraying him, let's find out. What's the hermit here for then? Ah, the Ten of Pentacles. So she might receive some money because that might be part of the karma that he is experiencing. And she is healing, but she will get rewarded for um, being truthful and um, maybe going down the path that she's meant to go down. Maybe she talks to the divine and the divine is guiding her on which path or her spirit guides are. Let's see, what's the judgment? Because somebody's very intuitive here. Um, actually, I'm both sides I thought didn't I see yeah the high priestess here yeah so she's still single so she doesn't take this offer because there is something attached here that is not in her favor when it comes to the cup of love and the offer what's the judgment please spirit what's the judgment yeah, the King of Cups. So, it might have been that the, where's the Emperor? The Devil. Where's the Emperor? There's the Emperor. So, it might have been somebody from her past, unless the Emperor is Jean Cook. Now, Jean Cook did show up as the Emperor in my last reading. And I kind of feel like it's possible that that is why he's receiving karma. Something wasn't truthful here. And the moon being here. And she ends up staying single and getting a reward. Somebody else comes in, I feel, with the king of cups and the judgment. And it could be the judgment call as part of the spiritual justice. What's the Six of Pentacles, please? That's equal give and take, but let's see. Is it equal give and, re and receive? Mmm, the judgment again. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, with the judgment again, could be redemption could be a decision, equal give and take, and using her judgment on whether she is going to accept this 
uh, offer she's heard about. What's the page of cups? What's the offer? Does she? Somebody's watching, and it could be John Cook that is watching <laughs> this King of Cups. Hmm. At a crossroads. And the Four of Cups. Not seeing something that's right in front of her. And blinded to it. And not having all the information. What's the Three of Cups? Yeah. She's wanting to be happy and having teamwork when it comes to a union. She might not um, trust, might have problems with trusting here, especially um, with the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. It could be an avoidance. It could be the inability to see the truth. Thinking everything is going to work out and there'll be cooperation and happiness, although the moon is here. Yeah. Somebody might be left out in the cold. So she may not be able to see the truth. Although, with the High Priestess here, she could be just learning about spirituality and not have all the information when it comes to this new person. So I'm going to say, no, they don't get together. And that there was karma that came in for something that happened between the two of them. If they did come together, it was very short-lived and somebody got hurt because of it, because there was no truth to something. There was some lies or some type of deception, whether it was someone else that came in and had some deception somewhere along the line and confuse the matter, or whether it was something that Jean Cook did that the truth wasn't had uh, when it came to them. It was short-lived, they broke up, or it didn't actually get off the ground. But someone else comes in and she does not see the truth in the matter and ends up getting left out in the cold. Now, whether that's John Cook, or this part is John Cook, um, either way, somebody is receiving karma here. Now, if it's John Cook sounds more here than he does here, my intention was for this side to be John Cook and this side to be Jin. So, in any case, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, Stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later!